Welcome back to another video. Let's see the workflow that I use to transfer models from Blender to Katia V5. I will go to import OBJ and the selected file will be on my desktop, the Santa Fe 2019 model. We see the OBJ, the file size over here, so this is quite a detailed model. And I will hit import wavefront OBJ. We could have this scale directly over here within the import, but I will show you how to scale it afterwards. So I will click on import. We're going to see that the model will now be loaded. Even though within the viewport nothing happened, we at least that is what we uh, see, so that nothing happened within the viewport, but we see the elements loaded over here. So the problem is that the model has been scaled. If I will now press on the period on the numpad, this will zoom me out all the way to, to the model and we're going to see that again nothing will be visible. This is because the model has been scaled 1000 times and this will be too large for the scene to handle with the default settings. So what do we have to do? We need to scale down the model. So the next thing I see that all the elements are still selected. So the one that were imported, I will just press S to enable scale and I will type in from the numpad 0.001. Afterwards, press enter. And again, nothing happens within the viewport, but if I will press again on the comma button, we're gonna see that now the camera will be framed onto the car and we have the model loaded over here. If you recall from my previous videos, you will know that the default Blender Cube has two meters. Therefore, the model of the car will now be imported at the true scale. If you wanna check the dimensions, you can just select the, the cube, you can press N and afterwards, if you're going to go within the item on the sidebar, we're going to see the dimensional values over here. So we see that this cube has two meters. OK, so now I can delete the default cube and we're going to have the model of the car position over here. We can improve the, let's say, visualization. This is the default, as you can see over here, viewport shading. I will go to the drop down list at the end. And we're going to see the cavity option over here. If I will enable cavity, we're going to see those highlights to those um, edges. Okay, now how do we work further with this model? We have the possibility to directly send this to Katia, but we are going to use an STL file for that. So I will select everything within the viewport. I will go to file export and I want this to be saved an, as an STL. We're going to see that within Blender we're going to have STL and STL legacy. I will choose the first one. I will go on the desktop and I will call this the same. So Santa Fe 2019. As you can see I already have an STL export over here but I will save this again. I will just type another E at the end so that it will be done the new export from um, that we do now. I will click export STL. And if I will jump back to Katia within Digital Shape 8, I have the possibility to go to import. I will select the model, which I know will be on my desktop and will be the Santa Fe 2019E. And I will open this. We're going to see the scale factor over here. So keep in mind that STL files are not Let's say they don't inherit the measuring units. Therefore, depending on the software to use, you will need to either scale down uh, or, or scale up. So if I will click apply with this model loaded at a scale factor of one from Blender, if I will go over here and I will check for information, I will click the point cloud. We're going to see the value over here. And we see that in this case, we need to scale up the car. So we're going to see the dimensions this will only have 4.7 millimeters in length so we need to scale this a thousand times we can no longer change the properties of this if you go for example to to the properties we're only going to have access to feature properties graphic and so on therefore we can either decide to scale this up we can go up at insert we're going to have transformation and we're going to have scaling we can choose this. The reference in this case will be the axis. So I right click, 
create a point. This will be 0, 0, 0. And afterwards, for the ratio, I want this to be scaled a thousand times. I will click preview. And we're gonna have the scaled model. If I will zoom out, if I will hide the initial point mesh over here, hide that. If I will go with the information on the second one, we're gonna see that now this will have the length of the Hyundai Santa Fe 2019 model. So this is how you can bring from Blender with uh, within Katia a 3D reference. Let's see how we can do some changes to the car. For example, maybe you want to open the driver um, door over here. So to do that, if I will select the mesh, we're going to see that this will be highlighted like that. And if I will press G for grab, I can move the door. If I will press R for rotation, afterwards I can specify the axis, in this case the Z axis. I have the possibility to rotate the door, but as we can see, the pivot point will be positioned over here. So we need to first adjust the pivot point. To do that, you can hold down shift. You can right click somewhere on the model when you want to define that 3D cursor. And we see how that snapped over here. But still the origin of the rotation will be where we have the um, orange dot. And we need to go up to object set origin and we need to move the origin to the 3d cursor so this will act uh, for the selected object in this case the door if i will click on origin to 3d cursor we're going to see that that orange dot moved over here and now if i will press r for rotation z for the axis we're going to have the possibility to open the the driver door over here okay now we're going to see that some elements will remain floating for example we see all those um, side buttons on the door will be floating over there. I will just press Ctrl Z to undo the last rotation, but the pivot point will remain set over there. And let's see how we can link those to the door. I can select the door and to better visualize the interior, I can press H to hide it. And over here I can do a selection. Now, since over here we're going to have um, all these elements joined together, if I will just select all of those, I have the possibility to make all of this part to go alongside with the door. So in this case is what we actually want. If I will press Alt and H, Alt, uh, H again, this will unhide the object. And the last object, which was all those interior elements, are still selected. If I will press H we're going to hide both, so I don't want to do that. But if I will press on the slash over here, this will isolate the selection. And as we can see, we have those elements as long with the, with the door selected. Now we need to parent those elements to the door. So to do that, I will just select those elements, hold down shift to add to the selection, and I will click on the door. You're going to see that now the door has been the last element to be selected and we can do a parent do that we can press ctrl p we can set parent to object and now if i will again press on uh, on that slash exit that uh, selected isolation if i will select the door press r for rotation z we're gonna have the possibility to rotate the door and as we can see those buttons will move as well with the door let me just go to the other side and if I will select the door, I will hold down shift to position a pivot point over there, set origin, origin to, to geometry. If I will rotate this, okay, so uh, origin not to geometry because that position this um, pivot point onto the middle of the, of the reference, go to origin to 3D cursor. And now if I will press R and Z for rotation, we're going to see how that will open and on this side we're gonna see that uh, we're only gonna have that button and we can do the same so i press ctrl z to take that within the default position i will select the door i can press h to hide it i will select the button now press alt h to unhide the door hold down shift select the door ctrl p to object and we did the same onto the other side we're going to see that 
this element which is the um, this from the um, view view mirror we also need to assign this to the door so to do that <clears throat> have it selected hold down shift you can select over uh, over here on the um, on the mirror since that geometry will be linked to the one on the door and again we can press ctrl p to object and if i will select it i will rotate it this will move as we intend okay and the same workflow can be used further for the car and this way you can prepare the car for various um, other positions for example i want to open the door at um, at an angle of 60 degrees i can select the door over here i can press r for rotation z for the axis i will move the mouse within this direction i'm gonna see in the top left corner that this will be a rotation of minus 37 degrees so i can just type in numerical from the numpad minus 60 and this will make the door to open at a 60 degree angle if i want to move the model now to katia to have this as a reference with the door open i can just select this go to file export stl and i will name this door open hit export i can now go back to katia since the model should have been saved by now blender saves uh, stl files quite fast so i can go within import i can select the other object and i will select the santa fe door open i will see that the size will be 81 megabytes so i know that the export has been completed click on open i will directly scale this a thousand times and i can hit apply and we're gonna have the newly model open over here as we can see it has been positioned perfectly overlap onto the original uh, mesh and we have the possibility to move it if you want to i can select it i can right click on the compass snap automatically to select the object i will select again and now i can do a translation on this axis and i can move the reference with the open door over here i can move the compass back and i will have that reference added to to katia v5 okay so i hope that you find this video useful i will position animation over here on the bottom and also consider to give this video a like or to leave a comment also to subscribe to this channel if you want to see other similar videos to, uh, like this so that's it thanks for watching